This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, I don't believe in any of those fancy electric motors, boy here. <laughs> and welcome back to R Factor 2 for another video. So as you've probably guessed from my absolutely terrible attempt at an American accent today, I'm going to be driving the R Factor 2 stock car, which I think is basically a 2015 NASCAR Cup car. And the reason why I mentioned electric motors is because of this. Yes, in today's video, I'm going to be pitching the opposite ends of the technological spectrum in racing against each other. On one hand, of course, we have this, the Gen 1 Formula E car running purely on electric battery power. And at the other end, we have our only recently fuel injected V8 NASCAR. I really need to stop doing that bad American accent. Now on paper, you think the stock car would probably be able to quite easily beat this thing. After all, the Formula E car is on street tires. This is a Gen 1 car having around 250 brake horsepower or so when converted from kilowatts. But the big advantage the Formula E car has is one, the circuit we're driving at. We're going to be driving at the Hong Kong Formula E circuit, a lot of very tight, twisty corners, which the NASCAR does not like. And it weighs about 600 kilos less than the Cup car, with this Gen 1 Formula E car being around 900 kilos and the stock car being closer to 1,500 kilos. In my initial testing for this video, the cars actually had fairly similar pace. So guys, let's go see what happens when you try and sneak a NASCAR Cup car into a Formula E race. So then, here we are on the grid at Hong Kong. Lots of very small looking Formula E cars around. Split into first gear in our edge pattern box. Wait for the lights. And away we go. Not a bad getaway. Trying to put all the horsepower down through the rear wheels. Never really goes that well. And now I have to get on the brakes nice and early. Try and squeeze through on the left there. Very hard to squeeze this thing anywhere given how bloody big it is. And now we've got to try and put in all the lock in the world to get around the hairpin. Come on guys, get on with it. Bit slow there on exit. One of the cars slow, but now we get to unleash our V8 engine down the straight. Look at the power difference. See you later, lads. Oh, wait, now I've got a brake. Heavy on the brakes there for the first tight right hand of the circuit. It's very tight and narrow through here, so it's kind of very hard to slot this cup car through the corners, but we, I've got some practice, so it should be okay. Just can't get on the power at all. Now I can. Smashing the first gear there just to try and put us up alongside one of the cars. The car's slow on the inside. I have to slow down for it to make sure not to run into it. I'm going to try not to murder the AI on this, as tempting as it is. And now for the section where this car suffers the most. Solid rear axle. I believe in these cars. The diff is definitely locked. So quite hard to get the car not to slide around. It's all sat there. I'm not quite sure what happened. But anyway, that's one lap down. About six to go. And again, we get to use our power, but only temporarily. This is where what makes this uh, video quite interesting is that whilst this car really should be quicker pretty much anywhere else in the world on this circuit, this is the only place it is quicker on this straight here. We go up to fourth gear. The gearing is so, so short, and I still don't get anywhere near the top of fourth there. I think about 220, 230 k's by the time I get to the end of that straight. Yes, you see the speedo on the right of the rev counter. I can't quite see it. My wheel gets in the way a little bit my IRL will uh, oh god I should be in first here you get an idea of just how much speed I get down the straight there easy easy this is so opposite can you imagine this happening like Formula E being this forefront of clean racing etc and then just some cake owner <laughs> shows up in a bloody NASCAR <laughs> this is a, uh, a video of a Cletus I think Mr McFarland he loved this easy there you go. Second gear out of there. You rev it so high in these things. It's so crazy how high you can rev these engines. Nine and a half thousand RPM is the rev limit. I actually have to slow myself up there on the uh, corner entry. All right, try and make some, make some places here. I have to brake there in that little kind of uh, yellow crossing. I'm going to lock up the brakes on the way into car look up the inside. Don't bully me! Side by side, a bit of bodywork there flying off. Don't mess with a NASCAR, he will crunch you. I weigh almost double what these cars weigh. I could just go through all of them if I wanted to, but I'm trying to be a clean racer. I'm trying to be. I don't even want to imagine what the uh, miles per gallon would be around here. 
It's a fun fort though. There you go, easy, easy, easy. Going down the first gear. You barely brush the brake, it doesn't really do anything in this car. I am of course running a road setup, so I can actually take this on with a small couple of adjustments I've made myself, but it's not really gonna get much better than this. The big trouble is getting the steering lock right around here. I tend to run a fairly shallow steering locker. For this I'm running 540, which is more than I usually run, and I still have to crank it over to get around the head. But see how you lad! V8 boy! Oh god. That's what happens when you don't get on the uh, downshift properly. Car sliding on the way in. Now I actually have an advantage on Chai here. I'm on slick tyres compared to these guys who are on road tyres. I think if we were on the same tyre, I'd be absolutely useless. Oh, guy slow on the right there, AI looking at each other. That's the only way I can really catch through here. That's Daniel Apt there in his little Audi. It's a lapped car. I beat him in Grand Turismo once. Oh, Christ! These guys are driving more like NASCAR drivers than I am. They might need to get involved a bit, give me a little bit of a nudge. Bump draft and down the straight. Should I try bump draft one of them? Yeah, why not? We'll see what happens. Out to the wall! It's so fast on the straights. I, I love curves like this. Just silly power. Why did I go up the inside there? I'm not going to be able to turn. I have to clutch kick it round. <laughs> the GTR LM strats. Right, can I give a bump draft? Oh, it's more than a bump draft. <laughs> Just destroy his rear suspension instead. And his rear wing. Oh, watch out for the wall there. This is such a fun combo. And the thing is, like... I think I am still a bit faster around here than the uh, Formula E cars are, but it's not by much, so I can race them. It's such a strange thing to do. Come on. I just be so careful there when you're trying to hit the throttle to start rotating the car, because of that diff, it just wants to continue rotating. You can't let it, of course, otherwise you just spin. Easy, easy, easy. I say easy, none of this is easy. It's all pretty damn crazy. To the outside again. Whoa! Slurdy! Can't be many more laps left. I think this is the penultimate lap. I'm going to have to put it into the hairpin. I would have hit him apt. I'm sorry! Oh, gosh. That hairpin is not made for a NASCAR. Right, let's see if we can get Mr. Apt before the right-hander here. I'm going to send it. That's, my, that's me trying to send it. I have to break so much earlier. The guys in the FE cars! <laughs> I still run into the back of him. This is a multi-class series that we want, all right? This, this, this should decide the uh, the future of combustion versus electric. <laughs> I know it's why I'd rather here go around, though. As much as I like Formula E, you can't, you can't replace... What, what, what's the, uh, the saying? There's no replacement for displacement. You're damn right. In you go. Come on. I think we're coming on to the, uh, the last lap now, so I'll try and make up a few more places. Try and get past the Apster. Oh, sideways. There you go. Penultimate lap. Well, last lap, sorry. Oh, they're, they're also up here. Don't stall it, Jimmy. Come on. There's a car slow on the outside, I have, to, I have to do it to him. Come on! Ah, slow down! Are you, oh, I'm, I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm gonna go up inside this car. I can't do it! Thank you very much, sir! Oh, the scent! He's hit the wall, but we're through! <laughs> that was the most aggressive move in the history of moves. Now, come on. Last couple of corners. All I want to do is keep position now. I can't game anymore. I'm not realistically against these guys. Even though I'm just smashing the throttle, trying to get around as quick as possible, it doesn't matter. Come on. <laughs> it's so unwieldy. But there you go. Across the line. Where did we finish? Where did we finish? Let's find out. We finished in P9! Nice! We got into the top 10. Fantastic. That was so much fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, so that's what happens when you try and sneak a, uh, a cup car into a Formula E race. You have a lot of fun. So there you go, guys. That's your next, uh, your next idea, Formula E management. No more of this uh, 
voltage or whatever how you call it. Just bring it on a NASCAR and it'll be fine. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon to be notified of future streams and future videos. Thank you very much to my patrons and to my sponsors and to the crunching guys in the background. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.